What if you could get clean, precise anime style outlines directly in Octrain Render for Blender, without plugins, workarounds or compositing tricks? While we are all waiting for the real, amazing edge detection feature currently in development at Otoy, this toolset gives you a fast, flexible and fully integrated solution you can use right now. Whether you're working on anime, satellite cinematics or high contrast loop dev, this changes how you think about rendering MPR style in Blender. Let's dive in. To install the add-on, just open the preferences and drag the archive there. Hit OK. And now in the vertical menus, in the 3D view, you will find Octane and all the associated add-ons. The installation also copied the asset file and remember you have to set the path to it and you'll find it in the same path of the add-on you just installed. The first operation you need to perform is to use the Set Octane Options button. This will set up all the Octane options correctly. Then you can select your object and set up to an edges. Next, just click on Assign AOV Compositing. To make so the AOV and compositing nodes are correctly assigned. Then let's start the preview render and we'll be able to see the edges. So each time we select an object and use the Setup Tune Edges option, basically two things happen. First, uh, the material is renamed using uh, suffix underscore tune and the edge material gets copied over the other material. So yeah, that's, that's the material here. And we can of course get rid of this edge material here since it's not used in the mesh. The second important thing happening is the geo edges collection creation and a new geo edges object which is using the same name of the original one as suffix. Naming should be consistent so never change those. The geo edges node are taking care of the inverted hull thickness. It's named outline thickness in the UI and we can change the value globally for all the objects in the scene. Then we have this global edge thickness control relative to the edges which are created using the shading system. While it's possible to use this attribute to change the thickness of those edges, it's better to leave it at its default value of 2. The tolerance angle attribute is very important. It determines which edges are we actually going to visualize. If we disable smooth in the material and set tolerance to zero, we'll be able to visualize all the edges of our object. Let's set the value back to one and let's enable smooth so we can learn how tolerance is interacting with the auto smooth modifier. If we reduce the angle, we're going to see more and more edges. Reducing the tolerance angle is going to show us more edges. I rarely use a value of 0 for tolerance. Uh, optimal values are between 0 0.5 and 1. Increasing the smooth by angle value is going to draw less and less edges and that's providing some nice artistic control. Something really cool we can do is to go in edit mode and select an edge and make it sharpen. That way it will be traced as long as Ignore Sharpness is disabled, of course. We can do the same with any edge loop in the object. Now we can click on Setup Tune Edges to reset the Tune Edges values for the selected object. Let's also clear any sharp edges and uh, let's take a look at the global thickness controls. We can control the outline thickness globally and we can do the same with the edge thickness. The assigned values will affect all the objects in the scene. I really want to show you a very important feature on this kit. 
I'm going to simply extrude this model like this, creating very small detail. You can see how thick the hedges appear there, but we have this edge thickness vertex group here, which is normally set to 0.5 for the whole object. And we can assign a value around 0.1 to control the thickness locally. That's a very useful feature, especially if you have really small details in your meshes. You probably know this, how navigating it's producing this kind of cyan color. And to get rid of it, just set the subsample mode to no subsampling. And in the Octane E major, look for the minimum display samples and set it to 4. You may need higher numbers if your GPU is not very powerful, but generally a value of 4 should work fine. For the system to work, we're using the new Octane Compositing workflow, and we're looking at the All Edges AOV. But yes, we can also take a look at the other AOVs involved, and you may notice that there is our final AOV, which is totally black. That's because we're using the tune material, and the tune material needs a tune light to work, so we can add it directly from the panel, and yeah, that's it. Now, let's go back to our All Edges AOV and let's set the angle value of the Outsmooth to zero. If we try to change the Tolerance Angle value, we're going to do that just for one material. So let's get rid of this edge material, we don't need that. Okay. But again, if we select any of those materials, we will change the Tolerance for that specific one only. You will find a very useful option here, Set Global Tolerance. This will attach a tolerance group node present in all the materials in the object, so we now can change the value in the group and it will affect all the materials. Let's get rid of the Outer Smooth modifier and uh, let's set the object to Shade Flat Okay, so that's the result. And let's try to change the global tolerance value. And now we're doing it for all the materials in the object. Let's apply the outer smooth modifier once again. And yeah, we have a pretty nice result. And again, we can control the tolerance for all the materials using the group value. That's the system. Fast, clean and ready to use in Blender and Octane. I built it out of love for anime and tone shading. It's a style that deserves care. If you want to see more, follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and keep creating.